we are going to talk a little bit about this Inno Plus candle warmer lamp to lamp today that I received from them to review and you get this wonderful gift box that it comes in and then this is the lamp behind us here and we're going to go through some details on that lamp so this is the in a plus candle warmer lamp this lamp features a glass top which is very pretty it's very stylish very classy um, this is a height adjustable base so this glass can go up or down now I have a Goose Creek candle sitting here and I just turned this on. In this lamp, you get a timer and also a dimmer. Now I know this is hard to see because I have the lamp on, so let me shut the lamp off. And on these uh, controls, you can see at the top here, you have two hours, four hours, or eight hours. You can turn the candle light up or down. It has four levels of brightness. And so yeah, there's the lamp on. Um, now I can turn the lamp down, depending on your mood. Uh, now, of course, I, I like to keep it all the way up so my candles really burn. And then I will set the timer to eight hours, which is great. Well, that's a great feature because there is nothing worse than having to leave your house and leaving a candle burning. So not only do you have this beautiful lamp, but you, you can melt your candle and you'll get a lot of scent in your room. You don't have to worry about blowing out a candle before you leave for work or at night it comes with two 50 halogen bulbs 50 watt halogen bulbs this is available on amazon so i will leave the link below to this the metal this is a metal arm in like a brass color but here's where you adjust the height it's just really really pretty adds a lot of ambiance to your room now what the other thing i would do is if you like to use wax melts once you burn a candle just put your wax melts in here and it'll melt the wax melts so that's a good idea if you just like wax melts so again super classy super stylish you get the gift box it comes in it's very very pretty i i love the timer feature of this and also i love the dimming feature so if you don't want your candle to be super scented you know you can just turn it down and it, it won't be super scented so the higher your level of light the more scent is going to come out of your lamp so this is a great item for valentine's day for mother's day birthdays any any kind of holiday that you're going to get something for someone christmas anything you know you buy the the lamp and then get some candles and some wax melts and it would be the perfect gift for Hi, anyone besties welcome back to my channel we're gonna do a timu haul today i hope you enjoyed the little lamp clip here it is behind me i'm gonna leave it up here for a little while so this is the lamp I was just talking about. It's the candle warming lamp, and I will be linking that below, so make sure to check it out. It make, make a great Valentine's Day gift, Mother's Day gift, birthday gift, any of those kind of gifts. So, all right, I have a Timu haul today. I have this bag, and then I have two little bags I thought we could go through because I have no idea. I have, like, a bunch of bags down here, and I have no idea how long they've been there or where to start. So I thought... Let's make this a, maybe a long one today. This might be a long one. my spectacles on so I can see what I'm doing. I, everybody always asks me about these. These are also, um, I got these from Timu. If you get on Timu and you look up cat eye readers, they usually pop up somewhere. So this is the UV nail gel and I thought I could use this as a glue underneath my press on nails and then, you know, use my lamp and set them with this. I don't know. I don't know if that's even possible but we're gonna we're gonna try it so that's what I bought that for and it was a dollar six okay then I got these two super stay they're called super stay foundation powders they were 314 each they it says up to 24 hours um they literally had like two colors one was light beige and one was natural beige so I don't know they, they don't do very many colors on Timu, but they kind of look like that Maybelline. Isn't there like a Maybelline brand kind of like this? But that's what the powder looks like, and it's pretty light. This one is the natural beige, and it smells very makeup-y. <laughs> it comes with a little cosmetic poof down under here, which I probably wouldn't use, and that actually has a mirror on the back too. So that's a good little compact. Um, and then this one is the light beige. Let me see what it looks like. 
I've been trying out different makeup just to see. I mean, you never know, right? So this one looks does look a little bit darker. But yeah, these were $314 each. So this one is the natural beige. This one is the light beige. And this definitely kind of looks like pinkier, but it's the same concept. You get the little puff, you get a mirror. Um, they're very velvety. I will say that. Uh, you know, of course, you probably can't really see it, but it's a powder. I mean, you know, it's a powder. <laughs> so we'll have to see what it's like. Maybe we'll do a little try on with those sometime. Okay, let me cut. Well, actually, I had this open anyways. This is a body spray for $3.59. Now, the scent says pure cocoa, but I sprayed this, and my boyfriend said it smelled horrible. It's it's not cocoa-y at all. It's not chocolatey at all. It's it's very floral, and it's very strong. So, I mean, I'm not mad at the strength of it, but it doesn't smell cocoa-y. It's definitely not a scent I would wear. So I might give that to my mom or I don't know, not sure. Definitely not for me though. I, I know there was other scents, but I just thought maybe since it said pure cocoa that it would be like cocoa scented, bakery scented, but definitely not. It's, it's very, very per perfumey, like very heavy perfumey. So I, I don't know. That's just, just not my kind of scent. Okay, this... Do I have a price on this? Maybe I put a price on it on the inside. I'm trying to keep the paper noise down to a minimum, but okay, this was $348. Um, I don't know what it is. It says tat tat beauty, which is kind of like it's funny because it's kind of like Tati Beauty. Maybe that's they were trying to do something off of their brand, but Three fifty nine. Actually, it does say Tati Beauty. Look at that right there. Can you guys? I don't even know if you can see that. Do you see that right there, Tati Beauty? Yeah, definitely ain't that. But uh, I, I don't even know what this is. Let's just open this up, see what it is. Okay, I don't know. This is the container, but it does say Tati Beauty on it. So it's a cool holographic case. It must just be like a bronzer and a highlighter, which is fine. Um. Let's see, bronzer, it's pretty sheer. I mean, it's pretty light. And then the highlighter, not very, well, there's the highlighter right there. There's the bronzer. Yeah, you gotta, it's weird because when I go to put it on my hand, you can see the bronzer, but I don't know. I don't know, we'll have to mess with that a little bit. Um, yeah, that's weird that it says Tati Beauty. Okay, I next like bag. That was all that was in the first little bag. Out of there. Okay, let's see. I got a lot of stuff going on on this table here. So this is like a eye makeup, like a liquid eyeshadow. It was two ninety eight. Um, they kind of remind me of the Stila liquid eyeshadows, um, or they kind of look like that. But they say three cube beauty liquid eyeshadow, and this color is called I don't know. Is there a color on here? Number five, color number five, but I like the packaging. I think this is really cool with the, kind of reminds me of like a Kylie packaging. Um, let's swatchy swatch. Wow, that's really coppery, like super coppery right there. See it? Wow. Let's see what that's like when it dries down. And then I also got this color. Again, it was $2.98. This color is number eight. Um, and it's like a more of a orange kind of color, I guess. Like more of a brilliant orange. Now, I like orange on blue. Ooh, wow. They're both kind of coppery. It's just different. You know, here's the more orangey one. And here's the cop more coppery one, I guess you could say. Like this is like a rust kind of color. I don't know. They're really pretty, though. So let's see how they what they're like when they dry down. Hopefully, I won't get them like all over the place. We'll see. Okay, then I got this for $2.07. I believe this is just a foundation brush. If you can, I'm sorry, my cat is down here in the bag. She loves bags. But it just says normal top. <laughs> so not sure what exactly that means, but there's the brand. If you can see it, it's probably not going to focus. I don't know. There it goes. But, um, yeah, it was 207 It's just a foundation brush, but it looks really nice. So, yeah, I really like that. We'll try that, too. But it was 207 and it comes in this really nice box. Um, super dense makeup brush. Perfect for buffing and blending. 
I don't know what they spelled super wrong. <laughs> they spelled it S-U-P-P-E-R like supper. Oh my gosh. For face makeup, achieve a flawless makeup look every single time. So yeah, I thought that I thought I'd try it. It says for liquid blood or I'm sorry, powder, liquid or blush, concealer, cream, foundation, cosmetics, whatever. So it seems like kind of like an all purpose brush. So I will try it out. Okay. Next, this was $4.94. I bought, must have bought a lot of makeup. Um, so it says party queen at the top. Party queen Hollywood professional terracotta stardust multicolored. Um, doesn't really say a color number. It just says brownish red. And again, I will try and link all of these below. Um, well, actually the back says number 11. So I don't know if that means anything or not. But it's kind of reminds me of the Laura Geller blushes, which I love. So that's what it looks like in the package. It's kind of like a baked um, blush, I guess. But let's see if there's any color payoff to it at all. Eh, it's, it's pretty light, which I don't mind because then you can always build it. But that's what it looks like right there. That's not bad. I mean, it's not bad because... When you get a blush like this and it's like really pigmented and you go in with it, you're like, uh-oh, and sometimes it's like way too dark. So that's actually nice that that's buildable. So yeah, that was $4.94. But yeah, it definitely reminds me of the Laura Geller blushes. Okay, here is another one of these liquid eyeshadows for $2.98. This one says color number seven, which it actually says seven on the bottom of these, but I love the containers. They're really pretty. This is like a gold kind of color and they all seem to have glitter in them. So yeah, wow, yeah, that's really gold, super gold. So there's that one in the gold. They're very, they're very pigmented. I will give them that. Okay, let's open up these now. Wow, we're just flying through this, aren't we? This was 348, um, it says color maple. It's a, like, I think a lip and cheek says Laura Cerna, pick me cheek and lips and eyes, secret crush. I'm kind of assuming you can use it. It says use it on your cheeks, lips, and eyes. I will probably not use it on my eyes, but it comes in this little container that looks like this and it like slides out. And then there is the inside and I love the color. I love the color. No real smell to it. Let me so that's what the color looks like, this finger right here. Boy, I'm going to be swatched out. There's a lot of color to this. So that's it right there. These would be great for blushes, cheeks, lips. Yeah, I like those. Blushes and cheeks. I guess that's kind of the same thing, right? So yeah, I've, I've been into like cream products. Um, I find that as my skin gets older, I like to use cream instead of powder. So this is another one for 348, but this color is supposed to be different. This one's raspberry. So let's take a look at this one. So same packaging. It's got the slide container like this. And then this is the raspberry one. It definitely looks raspberry. So here's the difference between maple and raspberry. Let me swatchy swatchy this one. Boy, oh boy, I'm really getting swatches everywhere. It, the color payoff is great. There's raspberry right there. Hmm, really nice, really nice. Now I wish I would have bought, I wish I would have brought down <laughs> makeup wipes. Yeah, those are great too. So I'm gonna set those aside so we can try those out sometime. And let's see what this is. I got this glitter eye mask. Now, this must have leaked in shipment because it's kind of wet in here, but it was $6.48, which seems like an awful lot. But I think you get like, let me see, 50, 60 pieces of eye glitter mask. So this is what the packaging looks like, glitter eye masks. Uh, bamboo, charcoal, and collagen, color glow, active charcoal, Carl, blah, 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 can't talk. Active charcoal, clear collagen, ultra potent active white. I don't know what all that means. And then it has this little thing on the side here, like a little before and after where it's like, woo, the lines are gone, girl. The lines are gone. I'm sure that's not going to happen, but yeah, definitely leaked because the package is like soaking wet and the top was like kind of open. So I don't even know if there's any more potency to these. Dark eye circle remover, eliminate, <laughs> eliminate your eyeballs and reduce your fine lines. I hope it doesn't eliminate my eyeballs. Um, there is like this little seal top and it has, 
this little paddle thing, but it definitely leaked. No doubt. Oh boy. So that's kind of what they look like. They're like glittery gel patches. There's a, there's still some liquid in there. I mean, there's still some liquid. It's still liquidy. I don't even know if you can see it without me spilling it. Oh, there it goes. Yep, just spilled it everywhere. But this is what they look like. These looks like this. You just put them under your eyes. Ew. Yeah, I just got it all over my... There's still plenty of liquid in here. I just wish it wouldn't have fallen out. But if I have, like, another eye cream, maybe I can, like, stick it in here. But, yeah, I just got it all over all over the place. But, yeah, this was $6.48, and there's 60 eye patches in here. So you figure that's, like, 30 uses, I guess. So if you even did it once a week. And now my hands are soaking wet, and I can't get the lid back on. Okay, so, yeah, $6.48 for that. I am making a complete mess up here. Oh, well, and then I got this hair hanging in my eye. I know people will complain about that. About me messing with my eyes. Okay. Last big bag. Well, I feel like I'm going through this, like, really fast. Okay. So, of course, I had to get some nails. These were 404. Color says pink. I got the size small. Um, I get the small because when I get the medium, like, it seems like the pinky finger's too big, so I don't know. But this is what they look like. Again, they're just pink cat eyes, you know me, with the cat eye. Um, they're really pretty, though. They look so natural on now. These ones I've had on for, like, forever, so I definitely need to redo my nails. But they're just so pretty. For $4, I mean, they do stink a little bit. Like, you can tell that they have, like, some type of gel you know polish on them and then they give you the glue pads which I don't use and a orange stick and a what's that called a file a nail file they give you the glue tabs the orange stick and the nail file and the nails for four bucks but again it's one set so it says tips to wearing them um repair and polish your yeah there's like some tips on the back here to like make them last longer so I never even noticed that before so I have to read Read those a little bit. Okay, next in here, I got these two bracelets, and I got different colors, and I wish I would have got more of these. They were $4.49. Um, this one is color coffee, and it's really pretty. It's like all these stars on here, and then the the uh, the band, I guess you want to call it. There. It's like a brown gradient, not gradient, but a brown glittery, and... Let me see if I can get it on my wrist without getting stuff everywhere, like makeup. So it's just got a magnetized um, closure, but that's what the coffee one looks like. The other one I got is called Rose Gold, and honestly, it looks an awful lot like this one, unless I'm just not seeing it right. But this is the Rose Gold one. I'll put them together. I mean, there's a little bit of a difference, but I wish I would have got like a white one maybe or something else. But here's the Rose Gold one, but as you can see, it's just like a bunch of stars on there how how cool is that but so this is the rose gold and then this one is the coffee so there is like a difference the coffee one's darker but yeah this is the rose gold one so i just thought that was like really pretty to put on her your wrist isn't that pretty i love it so yeah i really like those i like i said i wish i would have got another color i might i might have added another color to my cart <laughs> honestly i wouldn't be shocked if i did Okay, next up, I got some of these Eelho or Eelho um, Marine Collagen Eye Gels. I must have been into the eye gels for some reason. These were $4.49. Um, let me get this open. See, this box feels a little bit wet, too. I feel like these eye gel pads tend to leak. Um, but these are Marine Collagen Eye Gels with Hyaluronic Acid and Pearl Extract. You get 12 pairs. Oh, maybe they're individual. They are. Oh, good. See, I love that, that they're individually wrapped. So here they all are. So that's cool because I can give some of these to my friends or put some in a giveaway or whatever. But that's what they look like. Really cool looking. And they, they're actually glittery too. I don't know if you can see it, but do you see the little glitter specks? I love that. Love it. Okay, so yeah, True to Your Beauty Marine Collagen Eye Gels. And so yeah, you get 12 pairs. And they were... Four nine, $4.49 for those. So yeah, I like those. There's even like a manufacturer's date, an expiration date at the top, and a lot number, which is really nice too. So yeah, can't wait to try those. Little, little pamper night, some night. 
Okay, I know this is a shocker, but this is a pair of earrings. They are in the color silver, and they were $1.07. Let me get these out of here. There they are. Hopefully I can show them to you. So they're just like little diamond type studs. They're really, really pretty. I mean, those are some serious sparkle for a buck seven, right? Am I right? Am I right? I think I got these in other colors too, like maybe rose gold. So we'll look around, but yeah, those are really pretty for a dollar. Seriously, like you cannot beat that for a buck. Am I right? Okay, I see a couple of nails, so let's do those. More nails, more nails. Let's just bring on the nails, right? I really like these. They were $1.27, and they're like a brown kind of nude cat eye. 24 to 33 pieces. I don't know why it says 24 to 33. Like, maybe you get 24, maybe you'll get 33. It's the luck of the draw. Who knows? But you also get, like, the standard items in here. But this is what they look like. I know it's hard to see with the top on it. But they're really pretty. You know me and my cat eye nails. What the heck? You know? They're just really pretty. They're like a nude nude color. Really pretty. Really, really, really pretty. I love those. But for $1.27, like a manicure for $1.27, you cannot, you cannot beat that at all. Okay, next up, I know, shocker, more cat eye nails. These are $2.79 though, but they're like a pink color really pretty i think i i think i bought these before i tend to buy like the same packs once once i really like them but that's what they look like they're like a pink cat eye kind of holographic look to them really like those again 279 for those oh boy okay i got another pair okay these are the same pair as the ones i just showed you i must have got two pairs of those the like the nude colored ones Okay, and then I got some of these, like, house slippers. They were $2.39. Um, I like to just wear these around the house because I tend to wear, I tend to walk around barefoot, and I probably shouldn't. But they've got little grippies on the bottom of them, and look how pink those are. Like, wow, like, those are some super hot pink. But the inside is like a real furry fleece or Sherpa kind of lining. But I thought for $2.39, heck yeah. I'll try those out. Those would be a good gift for Valentine's Day with the pink, wouldn't it? I should have got my mom a pair too. Okay, this is a knife sharpener and I bought another one of these before. It was 89 cents. I usually just keep these like up in my drawer in the kitchen. Um, you know, they give you a little like double-sided sticky tab to put on the bottom, which I don't, oh no, wait, no. Actually, there's like four little things there and they go in the four pads right here, but I don't know if I ever use them or not. I don't think I did with the other one. I think I just pull this out whenever I need it. And you can sharpen your scissors, your knives, or whatever in there for 89 cents. My scissors go, go dull like super fast. I don't know about yours, but like they either disappear or they're really dull, one or the other. So I like to keep, uh, I like to keep a sharpener. Okay, more handmade nails. These were $3.99 and these look like a, a lot like the last color I was just showing you, those brown nude ones so this is what they look like they all come with the alcohol pad and the glue tabs and all of that and I got these in a size medium though but look at those wow I love these I love the cat eye shifts I just love those so much you can't beat a manicure for four bucks and especially when they fit so perfect and I love that these are short because I type all day and then I don't have to worry about not being able to type so absolutely love those Okay, then I got this for $1.25. I think I, it was in a lightning deal. So what you do with this is, let me open the pack. Let me cut it open instead of rustling with it. So it's a little stand for your, like, your tablet or your phone or whatever. And I was going to put my tablet down here so I could scroll through things if I needed to look them up. So yeah, it's just like a little kickstand. So you can put your tablet in it or whatever, you know, like if, let's say this is your tablet, you just sit it right there. I just thought it was kind of cool and it's got like a little, there's like a silicone thing here so it doesn't move around and you can adjust it to however, whatever height you need. So yeah, for $1.25 and they had a bunch of different colors. So maybe if you're, if you need it for your desk at work or your, you know, if you do YouTube and you need a spot to put your tablet on or a spot to put your phone on while you're looking stuff up, that'd be a great item for that. Okay. 
You guys are going to laugh at me. So I got this LED illuminated credit card magnifier for $3.98. And, and I'm, I'm going to tell you why I bought this. I bought this because I can't see a dang thing down here. And um, I actually got it so I could like, instead of wearing my glasses on, when I'm doing hauls, I could just use this. Now there's a light at the bottom so you can shut the light on and off. But, you know, so I can be like, oh yeah, this was $3.98. Although that is really potent. Yeah, if I hold it up here, I'm like, yeah, that's $3.98. Like, super, this is like what old ladies need. That's what I need. It is what it is, you know? It is what it is. But it comes in this, it comes with this little case too. So you can slide it in and out. So you can put it in your purse or in your wallet. Well, you probably, put, probably couldn't put it in a wallet, but... It's kind of cool it's got like a uh there's like an area here where it's like super magnified and then this is just kind of like regular magnified so i thought it was kind of neat i don't know i don't know maybe i just feel like sometimes i take my glasses like on and off too much in videos but anyway it was 398 let's see let's let's use it for the rest of the haul okay so this was 10 cents 10 cents okay yeah this is already annoying this thing I have to like close one eye to see through it. But I don't know. I must have like got this on some type of deal. I just like wearing glasses, guys. I just do. I guess it's just my thing. It keeps my hair out of my face too. So this must be like a lip pencil or something. But for a penny, like holy mackerel. If I can get it out of here. It says color number eight. It's just like a skinny eye. eye. Is it a lip pencil? Extra waterproof dragon something dragon Renee 08. It's just like a lip pencil. I got it for a penny. I'm like, I'm buying it. I I mean it was a penny. How could I pa I couldn't pass it up for a penny? So that's why I got it. Can't pass anything up for a penny. Okay, I know I have shown these before, and I don't know why I bought another one. So I'm gonna put this in a giveaway, but it was 448 and it's the Roman numeral bracelet. I know I've showed you guys this. So this is what it looks like real pretty but i know i bought this so i'm gonna put this away for a giveaway coming up hopefully soon okay i don't know if this is stupid or not but i paid a dollar 98 for this little handy tool well i think it might be handy but i don't know and they had a bunch of different colors of this thing now it's like glittery and all things but what you do is you put this in your book and you hold it as you read so that your pages don't like turn or flip up. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Am I making sense? It's like a book hold page holder, but I'm always like holding my book open and like sometimes or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Do you guys think that's dumb? I don't know, but it's really cute. <laughs> it's really glittery and sparkly, but anyway, I just thought, you know, if you're holding your book open with your hand, I don't know. Maybe that was a dumb purchase, but it was $1.98 and I thought it was pretty cool. So yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know. Now that I'm thinking about it, probably not the smartest move. Okay, these were $2.48, and I know I bought these before too, um, but I don't know if I got them in silver, but they're earrings again, and they're just really pretty. Actually, I think I got a pair of these free in the rose gold color, but look how pretty they are. Like, wow. I love those. $2.48 for those. I mean, you can't, you can't beat Timu's jewelry sometimes. Seriously, $2.48 for those? Like, that's amazing. Oh, here's the rose gold ones, actually. They were $2.48 too. So I might have two pairs of these if I do. And they give me like extra earring backs. There's all kind of earrings, earring backs for these, but here's the rose gold ones. I mean, those are gorgeous. Wouldn't those be beautiful for like a June bride? Like, I mean, seriously, like a bridal party? Get all your bridesmaids a pair of these. Everybody can wear the same earrings. I mean, I love those. Absolutely love those. Okay, here is a ring in a size 7. It was $1.79. I don't know. I'm going to take my ring off. This, to me, this didn't really look like the picture, so I'm a little bit upset with it, but is it bad? No, actually, I'm going to put it on this hand. Is it horrible? No, it's not. It's not horrible, but it's not like the picture. It's pretty. I mean, for $1.79, it's not bad. I don't know. It just, it, it's just not like the picture, I guess. But you'll have this sometimes. You'll have this sometimes. It happens. Okay. 
These are socks, and I'll tell you, I love Timu socks. These were $2.51, and honestly, I think I bought these ones before, and I absolutely love them if I can get the package open here. I may have hauled them on here before. In fact, I think I did, but they have, like, the lettuce edging at the top, and then there is, like, kind of, like, a some kind of print to it. Like, I don't know. Are they hearts? I think they are hearts, but you get blue, you get pink white there's like a coffee brown color you get the black so you get all of these for 251 so one two three five pairs for 251 that's cheaper than dollar tree and these last forever i mean literally i was i used to be so worried about timu socks because i thought they feel so i don't know they feel like they could fall apart but honestly they don't <laughs> they don't i would definitely highly recommend getting their socks I love their socks. I bought several several pairs of their socks, and they haven't let me down yet. Okay, here's another ring, so I'll take this one off. This one was $2.48. It's like a little bow. Let me open this up with my scissors. I thought this was, like, super cute, but I don't know how it's going to look on. I don't know. What do you guys think of this one? It was $2.48. It's, it's pretty, but it's like it sticks up, which is kind of cute. But I'm afraid it'll get, like, caught on stuff. You know what I mean? But for $2.48, super cute. Love that. Um, let's see. Next up, okay, we know my knee situation, which is which is still a situation. I bought this for $6.98. Let me take it out. You put this in the freezer or your refrigerator, which actually it probably goes in the refrigerator, not the freezer. I'll have to read the directions here. But it's like a gel pack with, like, beads in it. And then it just goes around your, you know, around your leg and you put your knee in here. And wow, this is really soft on this side. Holy mackerel. But yeah, does it say you can freeze it? So you can heat this in the microwave for 10 to 15 seconds. Or you can put it, you can freeze it. So yeah, pretty cool. Cold therapy. Simply store the eye face mask in the fridge for one to two hours or freezer for 30 minutes. So yeah, I absolutely love these. And I've been icing my knee down like daily. So yeah, love that. Can't wait to try that for $6.98. I bought a lot of knee stuff from Timu, so I wouldn't doubt there's another knee thing in here, to be quite honest with you. Okay, here is another ring, so let's take off the bow. This one was $1.99. It is also a size 7, so these have been pretty true to size so far. This one's really pretty, and honestly, I usually don't like the, um, ooh, I honestly usually don't like the emerald cuts but that is really pretty it's not too much it is not overdone dollar 99 and it's got like baguettes all along the side right here wow i really like that that's gorgeous i love that one very very pretty love that okay here's another knee thing so this is like a patella strap it goes like right under your kneecap for a dollar 99 i just my my knee feels like very how do i want to say like not very stable so this just there's like this compresses underneath it it's like what do i want to say there's like foam right here and then you just strap it around and it kind of holds it but yeah for a dollar 99 these are like 10 bucks on amazon so i thought i'm gonna get a few of them off of off a of Timu. I have nothing to lose, right? <laughs> Absolutely nothing to lose. Okay, this was $4.94. It says bird on it. Oh, I know what this is. It's a little um, make makeup mirror. I don't know why. I think I saw Favorites with Laura get something like this. Um, it's a makeup mirror, and oh, I have it upside down. But there's like a bird cage and some flowers on it, and then you push this button, and it opens up. And there's the mirrors. Is one more magnified than the other? No. I don't think so. But yeah, I thought it was really cool, like vintage looking. Really liked it. So yeah, and you just shut it. But yeah, there's a little button right there that makes it pop right open. Really cool. Love that. I don't know if it was worth $4.94, but I thought it was really cute. I like the brass. I like the vintage look of it. So I grabbed it. Okay, here's another one of these, and this will go in a giveaway because it's another one of those Roman numeral bracelets, but it's in the rose gold. These were $4.48, and I know I bought these before, so yeah, that I like these, but they're going to go in a giveaway because I know I bought them. I don't know why I do that, but it is what it is. 
Okay, this is kind of heavy. So, oh, mm. you guys are going to laugh at this. These were $5.99. It's silverware. I did not know. So for $5.99, you get 12 pieces. And honestly, I did not know that Timu sold silverware. I needed some forks, like, really bad. I don't know where all of our silverware goes, but these are heavy, okay? These are really good. They're each individually wrapped. They're just forks. Like, they're just forks. Nothing nothing major, but you get 12, and that's, like, cheaper than Dollar Tree. So, yeah, it's just all these forks. I don't know why I needed forks, but I did, and I'm pretty sure I have other silverware in here now that I think about it. Okay, this is another ring, and you know what? I bought this one before. I think it's the same one I just had on, like, a little bit ago. Let me see. Yeah, okay, I'm going to save this one for a giveaway, too, but just so you know what it looks like, it's right here. I was wearing it when I first started the first started this video, so this is what it looks like. I wear it every day. So, yeah, it was $2.98, but I will save that one for a giveaway. Okay, next up. I must have wanted eye cream things because this is the Eelho Instant Titan and Instant Titan and Lift. Visibly younger looking immediately. Instant anti-aging results in, in two minutes. I don't know if two minutes is instant, but okay. But it was $1.47. So I actually have that Peter Thomas Roth instant firming eye cream, and that stuff works. So we're gonna try this sometime and see if it does anything. We'll compare the two. So I'm going to save that to compare. So we'll see. For $1.47, if it does the same thing that Peter Thomas Roth does, then that is a bargain because that stuff actually worked. It went viral on TikTok. You guys remember that? The lady put it on her face and like, like it just li instantly lifted it up. Well, not instantly, but it dries and it lifts. And honestly, it works. I'm not even kidding. So, yeah, I did get more silverware. So let's take all this silverware out. I don't know why, but I, I don't know why I did this. But so this was seven sixty three. It's silverware. It's spoons and forks, and you get. Does it say how many pieces? I don't know. It just says cutlery seven sixty three. I have no idea how many are even in here. Um, let's see, one, two, three. I'm gonna say twelve because it looks like there's six spoons and six forks for seven bucks. So this will cost you over twelve bucks at Dollar Tree. So if you need forks and spoons, I know it's the weirdest thing to buy off Timu, but here we are. Now these were nine ninety eight. Apparently, I I must have thought I now these are cool though. So these are a little bit different. These were more because they're like a black color they're like a black color so I know I thought I saw these and I was like wow these look really cool so here's the silver and then here's the black set aren't they cool looking they're like neat so they they cost more but you get seven, 12 pieces for $9.98 which is still cheaper than Dollar Tree so if you need fork spoons knives Look them up on Timu, and you can probably find them. If you want to buy them there, that's totally up to you. You don't have to listen to me. <laughs> All right, here is some more nails, of course. I mean, why not, right? We have a ton of nails. These were $4.04, oh, four, if I can get them out. Good grief. Okay, these were four oh four. They come in this little container like this. And these are a size medium, but this is what they just look like, you know, the old French tip. But they're, they smell really bad, but they are so pretty and they fit so well. Like, they just look so good on. I would not lie to you. I mean, they give you, you know, they give you everything you need for them, but I don't use the glue things. So, but yeah, $4 for those. $4 for a manicure? That's crazy, right? Okay, a couple items to go. And I see one item I'm gonna definitely give in a giveaway. This is gonna go in a giveaway too because I bought this before. Actually, I won this on Farmland. So it's $5.51. This is a beautiful bracelet. Be beautiful. It, it's like a nail head here and it's got all these rhinestones on it. It's beautiful. It's very light. It like opens on the side over here. I wear mine all the time. You just push it up and open it, close it. It's, it's gorgeous. 
it's gorgeous. So yeah, that's going to go into a giveaway. I shouldn't say giveaway. A subby surprise. Let's call it that. A subscriber surprise. So let's put all the stuff that's going in the subscriber, subscriber surprise over that way. Actually, I think I'm going to do these two pairs of earrings too. So there's going to be a lot of jewelry going in that. Okay, you're, you're going to die with this. But here's another pair of... These were 404, and it's another pair of nails, of course. And these I got in a size small. I go back and forth between small and medium, and if I can get the package open. Jeez, old Pete. Okay, these are a little bit different than the last pair because there isn't much weight at the top, but same idea. Same idea, just French tips. Really pretty. Again, 404. That's usually about the standard price for all of the nails okay oh wait wait a second last but not least is another one of these i wonder why i got two now see i'm wondering if this tricked me into getting two because i keep hear people talking about oh you have to buy a minimum of two and now i'm wondering if they conned me into getting two somehow okay guess what this one's going in a subby giveaway too because i already have one so there's no sense in me opening that one <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, so stay tuned for a giveaway. There's going to be one coming up here eventually. So um, I would say once I hit 4,000 subscribers, which is very close, like I'm less than 100 away. So please like and subscribe so we can do a giveaway or like if and subscribe if you like my content or if you like me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.